All right, Slack Master fans, live with thrills that started a million years ago. It's Dinosaurus. Let's check it out. So we're in the Caribbean somewhere, and, uh, these developers are blowing up stuff in the harbor. This is Betty, played by Christina Hansen. What are you doing now? She's the hot chick of the movie. I'm going down to Davy Jones' locker. My mother's portable icebox, in which I had stashed all sorts of goodies for you guys to eat. So while Betty is swimming underwater, she comes across a dinosaur. Which makes her pass out. Anyway, despite it fainting underwater, Bart saves her. This is Hacker, the villain. You were supposed to put up warning signs before you started blasting. They were up. What's wrong? I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I wouldn't believe it. What? The monster. Two of them. Two what? What are you babbling about? Two huge, ugly dinosaurs. Perfectly preserved at the bottom of the channel. I guess they got coming out after the, they were blowing up the place. Sure enough, two dinosaurs. They pull them to shore. They're still frozen solid. They were blown loose from wherever they were with all the dynamite they were doing there. And guess what else got jarred loose by all the explosions? A Neanderthal man. Which hacker is gonna take? Because he thinks he can sell. I have found a caveman, perfectly intact, probably a million years old. We are going to take him to the mainland and sell him for a fortune. So there's a big storm on the island that night, and our dinosaurs get struck by lightning. Both of them. What are the odds? Gee, I wonder what kind of effect that's gonna have on the big monsters. Well, let's see. We have a T-Rex and a Brontosaurus. Was that movement? Oh my goodness. We got some claymation movement. And guess who else is up and moving? Our caveman! He didn't even get struck by lightning. Well, before long, one of the guys gets uh, attacked by the T-Rex. Andy. Our dinosaurs are gone. You look like the big one just up and walked away. Walked away? How can he walk away if he's dead? A good idea, don't anyway, we could see a romance blooming a mile away between Bart and Betty. No, you're not. It's a lot safer for you at the fortress. We may never get there. If something happens, I want to be with you. The T-Rex attacks a bus. <laughs> Little boy Julio's missing. How is the boy dressed, Mr. Hacker? I uh, didn't notice. Don't be so style conscious, Jasper. We're looking for the caveman, not that brat. <laughs> I knew you hadn't changed. Brontosaurus, you'd better run and find this one to hide. Julio found the Brontosaurus. Because if he catches us, he'll eat both of us up. And he'll like you better than me, because you're bigger. And I don't want him to eat you, so please run. Our caveman found a house somewhere and a radio. Oh, And an axe. He also finds a toilet. Hacker continues to search I mean, for the caveman. I've been in years. <laughs> oh, well, he's not in the cave. Maybe he's in a house. Come on, we'll start looking in houses. Julio finds the caveman, too. Huh? 
hacker finds them. Our caveman hits Hacker with a pie and takes off running with Julio. Gotta love dinosaur slapstick. Julio and the caveman are now riding on the back of the brontosaurus. This movie is extremely silly, but it's kind of fun. Well, the T-Rex attacks and uh, grabs Betty. Caveman to the rescue. Got her. Betty's so thankful. I'm very grateful. She's gonna make him dinner. You want me to cook it? Your dinner. I think you ought to know something before I start. I'm not a very good cook. She's even going to sing him a lullaby. Lullaby and good night. Go to sleep, little caveman. You know the T-Rex and Brontosaurus were going to get into it at some point. One's a meat eater. One's a vegetarian. They just don't get along. Eventually, the T-Rex is able to snap down on that neck of the Bronto and is seemingly killing it, much to the chagrin of Julio. That ought to get him. Julio, the caveman, and Betty are trapped in the cave and the T-Rex is trying to get in. But Hacker gets in instead. Oh, Mr. Hacker, thank goodness you're here. Oh, don't be so thankful. Caveman is very protective. I could puncture holes in you with this play toy of mine. He doesn't know what a gun is. He's just a nice guy. Leave him alone. Don't worry, boy. I won't tell Timmy. Anyway, the cave starts to collapse. Hacker tried to leave, but got crushed by the rocks. Our caveman's gonna make it, but he sacrificed himself so everybody else could get out. Turns out the brontosaurus wasn't dead. Then it went and wandered into some quicksand. Now it's dead, but that T-Rex is still out there. And they're trying to set a trap for it. Bart tries to attack the dinosaur with uh, some heavy machinery and some great special effects. And with one final spin, he's going to knock that thing off the cliff and into the water. last shot of the film is the apparently dead T-Rex underwater at the bottom of the ocean. Or is it? Alright, let's talk about this movie called Dinosaurus. This movie that I originally had on a VHS tape, I copied it off of cable. It showed up late 89, or early 1990, I'm not sure. I never watched it at the time. I did end up watching it sometime in the late 90s, I think. And then nothing, I didn't remember a damn thing about it. Uh, it didn't stand out. I, don't, I think I remember it just kind of being slow and boring. Watched it again today, and um, I, I thought it was at least somewhat more palatable and more entertaining. Uh, maybe I just paid attention to it more. I don't know. But anyway, it came out in 1960. It's um, got some uh, stop-motion animation type of, what do, you, what do they call that? Like, kind of like a 
the Harry, Harry was it Ray Harryhausen? Is that his name? Yeah, he does all those movies. Um, the claymation type of stop motion, whatever the hell it's called. Anyway, we got two dinosaurs here. There's some sort of company that's uh, drilling or, or bombing this harbor in the Caribbean because they're going to build some sort of hotel or something. And they're like putting dynamite in the water and apparently they blow a big hole. And down below there are two big dinosaurs, a T-Rex and a Brontosaurus. And uh, they're frozen. They've been frozen in time for 65 million years. The guy says a million years, but in real life, dinosaurs have been gone for 65 million. So he's a little off on his math. Anyway, uh, they pull these two things up, and they, they assume them to be dead, and they just let them thaw on the beach. So I don't know what they're going to do with them, if they're going to sell them or get some paleontologists to come down and take them away. I don't know. But also, unbeknownst to them, a uh, Neanderthal man washed ashore who was also frozen. Now, if you know anything about history, Neanderthal man and dinosaur did not live at the same time. They were millions and millions and tens of millions of years apart, but whatever, right? I guess he fell in the water later on and got froze too. So anyway, as you can surmise, the, the Neanderthal man thaws and comes to life. Now, the dinosaurs don't actually thaw. They come to life because they get struck by lightning. Same thing happened to Jason Voorhees 26 years later, but... So I don't know if they would have thought and come to life anyway, but who knows? Anyway, they uh, they come to life and they start wreaking havoc on the island. Um, they start killing people. There's this kid named Julio. Uh, this bad guy named Hacker wants to take the Neanderthal man and sell him. He's a caveman, so he can get some money for him. Ultimately, the caveman turns out to be friendly. He befriends Julio, and he saves their lives when the dinosaur is chasing him, the T-Rex, by holding up this uh, cave that was about to collapse. Um, and the, he basically sacrificed himself. He died. Um, one T-Rex killed the Brontosaurus. I should say the T-Rex killed the Brontosaurus, or at least we thought he did. Then the Brontosaurus was back alive again, moving around. And then the damn thing fell into some quicksand. The Brontosaurus was, like, friendly. T-Rex was not. Um, so the Brontosaurus drowned in the quicksand. And then our hero, this guy named, uh, what was it, Bart, I think was his name? He gets into this bulldozer type thing and uh, has a battle with the T-Rex near a cliff and basically knocks him off the cliff into the water. End of story. So anyway, a cheap uh, early 60s monster movie is what this is. I was fairly entertained by it, though. I don't know what to tell you. So anyway, it's called Dinosaur. So you want this DVD, it's getting pretty pricey. And I, for the life of me, I don't know why. But uh, it runs about $80. I've seen it up as high as like $190, too, which is insane. Um, but there are a few copies on eBay, or I'm sorry, uh, uh, on eBay, yes. And I'll put a link down to Amazon down below if you're looking for it as well. The uh, picture looks great. It's widescreen. So it's a nice copy. But is it really worth 100 bucks? I don't know. Anyway, Dinosaurus. Oh, you can get a UK PAL version of this uh, DVD as well. Much cheaper, like in the $20 range or the £20 range, €20 Euro range, whatever it is. Um, that might be the way to go if you're really looking for a pre-recorded uh, DVD of this. So anyway, check it out. It's called Dinosaurus. Let me know what you think about it. Leave some comments down below. We'll talk about it. Dinosaurus. Watch it. Bye.